Hello friends, uh, welcome to Learner's Planet. Friends, so this is our second session for Introduction to Algebra. In the previous session, we have discussed constants, variable, we have discussed verbal and algebraic expressions. In this session, we'll be taking more examples for uh, verbal expressions and we'll convert them to algebraic expressions. Right, and uh, I'm sure you might have revised the previous session very in a uh, well manner, so we'll be comfortable in this session. So let's begin this session now. Now let's take this example. 10 increased by 8. Increase means what? Further addition. So 10 increased by 8. 10 increased by 8. Right? 8 more than 10 or 10 increased by 8. Same thing. Right? The sum of a number and 9 is 7. Whenever you are having a number, just choose that number as variable. Right? Now it, it's very easy. Sum of x and 9 is 7. Sum of x and 9. Sum is what? Addition. Sum of x and 9. Sum of x and 9 is 7. Right? Whatever, what's written over there, we have converted uh, that to algebraic expression. Right? D minus 13. D minus 13 is equal to 32. D minus 13 is equal to 32. Very simple. Twice C is equal to 50. 2 times C or twice C is equal to 50. Right? Half of a number is equal to 39. A number you don't know, take it as X. Half of X is equal to 39. Of can be written as multiplied, multiplication sign. So what you can uh, write uh, for it is half of x, that is multiplied by x is 39. Okay? Now here, 12 more than r. So r more means plus. So it's 12 more than r is 9. Okay? Next is y squared is 13. y squared is 13. Right? z increased by 5. z increased by 5 is 46. Okay? The difference of a number, a number means x. So difference of x and 29 is x minus 29 and that is 45. Okay? The sum of n and 11 and n 11, their sum is 32. Okay? Very simple. 9 less than n. n 9 less than n is 38. Okay? Now friends, in all these cases, uh, we have connected variables and consonants uh, with single mathematical operation or single arithmetic operation. Maybe either we have added or subtracted or multiplied or divide, right? But uh, there are cases when more than one mathematical operations are there in a single verbal expression, right? Uh, suppose uh, for an example, two times a number. 3 is 2 more, I just write 3 more than 2 times a number, right? That means what you have to do? You have to do two operations, more and times, right? A number, first you take a number, that is x. Then 2 times a number, that means 2x, okay? 2 times a number, that is 2x. Okay, and 3 more. Now from this, 3 more. So this is the uh, uh, algebraic expression for this verbal expression. Okay, similarly, 5 less than 3 times a number. Now a number is x, 3 times a number, that is 3x, 5 less than this, is 3x minus 5. Okay. Similarly, suppose uh, we have 
फोर टाइम्स अ नंबर डिवाइडेड बाय से सिक्सटी ओके सो फोर टाइम्स अ नंबर अ नंबर इज एक्स फोर टाइम्स अ नंबर दैट इज फोर एक्स इज डिवाइडेड बाय डिवाइडेड बाय सिक्सटी राइट सो हियर टाइम्स एंड डिवाइडेड दैट मीन्स मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड डिविजन टू मैथमेटिकल ऑपरेशन आर बींग यूज राइट नाउ सपोज डबल ऑफ अ नंबर is uh, equal to maybe 50 right so double of a number double of a number is equal to 50 so double of a number is equal to 50 okay now friends uh, let's practice some more problems here Seven more than a number divided by six. So first of all, a number that is x divided by six, x by six. Then more that means we have to add and then seven, right? So seven more than a number divided by six. Okay. Now half of a number. A number is x. Half of a number that means x by two decreased. That is decrease by three. So half of a number decreased by three. Okay. Now x multiplied by five. X multiplied by five. That is five x and added and added to three times y. Three times y. Okay. Five uh, x multiplied by five added to three times y. Okay, then ten added to nine times x, nine times x, then added ten. So ten added to nine times x. Okay, now five times the reciprocal of x. Reciprocal of x is one by x. Five times means this is five times added to x times. Reciprocal of five. Reciprocal of five is one by five. X times is into x. So it is five by x plus x by five. Okay. So five times reciprocal of x added to x times reciprocal of five. Okay. So now I am sure uh, you'll be getting this thing. How to frame um. An algebraic expression by given verbal expression. Now, friends, let's un understand the concept of consecutive numbers. See, one, two, three, four, five. All of these are consecutive numbers, right? That you must be knowing. The difference between two consecutive number is always one, right? that means the difference between consecutive number is always one that means if a number is x then a number that is consecutive to it will be x plus 1 if it is more than this or it will be x minus 1 right so x minus 1 x and x plus 1 these three are consecutive numbers right because difference between these two is one difference between these two is one right so these three are consecutive numbers so if you want smaller number than the given number then you have to subtract one if you want bigger number than the given number then you have to add one but you have to keep that in mind that the difference between two consecutive number is always one okay i just write it over here difference between two consecutive numbers is 1 okay similarly if we talk about two consecutive even number suppose this is 2 this is 4 this is 6 8 now what is the difference between them 2 right so if there are two consecutive even numbers uh, their difference will be 2 okay so if one number is x other will be x plus 2 
or x minus 2. So, difference is 2, difference is 2. Okay. Similarly, um, if we talk about odd numbers, 1, 3, 5, 7, difference between two consecutive odd numbers is also 2. So, if one number is x, more than that will be x plus 2 and less than that will be x minus 2. Right. So, this is what the concept of consecutive numbers, consecutive even numbers, consecutive odd numbers. Right. I hope you are clear. Now here, let's try this problem. 16 subtracted from the product of two consecutive numbers. Right. Now is 56. So, one number is x and uh, consecutive of that is x plus 1. So, one is x and other is x plus 1. Now, the product of two consecutive numbers. So, we have to multiply these two. So, while multiplying friends, be careful that you have to write the other number in bracket. Right? So, this number into this number and if we subtract 16 from it, it is equal to 56. Right? Product of two consecutive number that is x and x plus 1. 16 subtracted, 16 subtracted, then it is 56. So, then it is 56. Right? So, we converted this verbal expression into an algebraic expression. Getting my point? Always be careful. Put this number that is when there are two terms in an algebraic expression, always put them in a bracket. Okay? Else it will be a mistake. It's an important point. Okay? I take one more. Now here, the sum of three consecutive numbers is equal to 30. Now friends, consecutive numbers, that means uh, the first number is x, then the second number will be x plus 1, the difference between them is 1, and the third number will be x plus 2. Or, what you can do? You can take the middle number as x, one number is greater than this, and one number is less than this. So, this is also 1, this is 1, this is 1 and this is 1. So, either you can take this set or this set. Right? No problem in either case. Okay? Now, sum of three consecutive numbers is equal to 30. Now, if we take this case, sum of these three numbers. Sum means addition. Right? Sum of this and this and this is equal to 30. And if we take this case, x minus 1 plus x plus x plus 1 is 30. Right? So, you can write both ways. So, 3 consecutive numbers this way or this way. Okay? Now, in this case, the sum of 3 consecutive even numbers is equal to 4. Now, suppose one number is x, then the next one is x plus 2 and the next one is x plus 4. Difference between these two is 2 and difference between these two is 2. Right? Or you can take middle number as x, it's x plus 2 and it is x minus 2. Here also the difference is 2. Okay? So, either you take this set or this set. Okay? Sum of three consecutive even numbers, that is x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4 is 4. Okay? Sum of three consecutive even numbers is, uh, I say, not 4, I tell, uh, say just it is 12, right? So, it's, I take it as a 12, okay? So, x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4 is 12. Similarly, I can take this set also. So, x minus 2 plus x plus x plus 2 is 12, okay? So, getting the things. Now, in this case, the sum of three consecutive odd numbers is equal to 51. So, you take this or you take this set. Doesn't matter. The difference should be 2. Okay. So, x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4 is 51. Or if we use this, then it is x minus 2 plus x plus x plus 2 is 51. Okay? Now friends, uh, in the next session, uh, we'll be learning to solve an algebraic equation. We'll be discussing 
the terms coefficients in other terminologies related to algebraic expressions. Okay, so do revise this session and the previous one. I'll see you in the next session once again. Bye-bye.